convert waste uh, biomass feedstocks into syngas, uh, which is then converted into heat and power, and also can in the future be converted back into biomethane or renewable natural gas, and also be converted into uh, liquid fuels for transportation. Up until now, uh, we've focused our technology on the development of alternative fuels, difficult fuels to gasify. And we've been successful so far with the gasification of wastewater treatment sludge, which is obviously a difficult problem for many cities. We've also uh, developed the technology for class B and C waste wood, which is waste wood that has contamination such as glue, uh, which you find in medium density fiberboard or o oriented <laughs> strand board or plywood. Uh, any reconstituted, re-engineered wood. Uh, we are burning 100% uh, diet of uh, waste wood in our projects that we've done in the UK. We've built two 10 megawatt plants there. Each of those burns about 72,000 tons a year of this waste material that has paint, plastic, laminate, wood, sawdust. This is uh, a problem in an island like the UK where there's 65 million people. And of course, the IKEA furniture only lasts 15 or 20 years, and many people have old IKEA furniture. Not that it's all about IKEA, but it's an example of the kind of waste that this small island generates, and they, they, they really don't have a good means of, um, of disposing of it or recycling it. And so our technology is excellent at that. The future for the technology is municipal waste, where we take municipal waste, uh, household garbage, and we extract all of the material that can be consumed in our gasifier, put it through the gasifier and make power or transportation fuels or renewable gas. So that is really where we're going. But today we have a very hardened technology that we can build um, very reliably, on time, on budget, uh, using waste wood as a feedstock.